Here with Swanee head basketball coach Bubba Smith. This is the Tigers defeat rival Rhodes this afternoon, 64-61. Bubba, we got off to a slow start. What adjustments did we make to uh, come back? Well, I, you know, I said it last time we talked about probably the best defensive team in the league being Rhodes, and I think that, that had a lot to do with it. I mean, they're, they're very good, and, and uh, they make it very difficult to score, and you have a hard time getting the ball inside of your post, and you have a hard time getting really inside of the defense. And, um, yeah, I, I thought uh, you know we made some adjustments in the second half that, that, that I thought was really good on the defensive end. Um, you know we, we were able to uh, switch some ball screens. They're very difficult to guard in their ball screen motion. We, we switched some things and we put a guy on Luke Collins and kept him out of the paint, with, which was I think was a key force as well, and kept him off the line. But you know Drew had a great game tonight. He's a, he, he's a tough, tough guard, and um, you know they just uh, they make it very difficult to do what you want to do well. But we're happy to come out with a win, and uh, you know, I thought our bench played excellent tonight. They really gave us a great lift. We shot 38.5% in the first half, then we come back and shoot 542 in the second half. Um, basically, how were we more efficient in the second half? Well, we were really deliberate, I think, in what we wanted to do. I mean, we, uh, we kind of opened up the offense a little bit and let our guys play, and, uh, and just, just said, let's just be very conscious on who takes shots. And then, you know, I told our guys at halftime, I said, Jordan has got to get shots. And I said, we got to work hard to get him the ball. And, you know, Drew Miller guarded him. He's 6'5", and, you know, we try to run stuff for him early. They're going to do a good job guarding him. And I said, let's just get Juice away from the ball. Let's screen for him more. Let's let him work away from the action. Uh, and Jordan, I mean, he got going because we, we got him from space. And uh, and that was big. And Keyshawn obviously played very big down the stretch for us and made some big plays. Uh, but again, you know, our bench, um, you know, 26 points and 18 rebounds off of our bench. And, uh, you know, Leo, like I said, again, I can't say enough about you know, his role was huge for us in the game. I thought he did a great job on Collins, and he rebounded the ball well and played with a lot of toughness. But, uh, you know, great overall team win and, and a great environment. You know, people watched the game or saw it, just a tremendous amount of support from our community and our fans, and just the whole initiative behind the sixth man was, was special today. And, and, and always, uh, obviously beating your rival roads is, is a great thing, too. I know we talked at the first of the season. We've got to go win on the road. Uh, we're done at home now in the conference record season. We've got four road games <clears> left. You know, how do we how do we win on the road? Well, that's going to determine the season, unfortunately. And uh, you know, I think our guys are up for the challenge. And I, well, I think we're looking forward to getting away from Swanee and having having less distractions. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you, you just got to go on the road, and, and you got to you got to play well, and you got to be consistent and focused. And uh, you know, I think our guys are going to be ready. You know, it's going to be a challenge. And uh, you know, our, our goal going into this season, we told them after Christmas, I said, you, you can't lose at home, and we we accomplished that, and we got to go five and two on the road. We already lost two games on the road, so we don't leave a lot of room for error. Um, but that's our goal going into it, and um, you know, so we're gonna we're gonna be ready for no steps on Friday. Thanks, Bob. Again, the Tigers defeat Rhodes this afternoon, 64-61. Swanee is now in first place in the SAA.